as the number of coronavirus cases climbs across the Miami Valley, doctors with Premier Health say they'll soon be able to offer Eli Lilly's antibody therapy to some patients. 2 News reporter Kristen Eskow is live in Dayton after talking with doctors. Kristen, how will this new treatment work? Well, Brooke, doctors say this is an outpatient treatment that is given in a single infusion to patients who are experiencing mild to moderate COVID symptoms. Now, this is quite similar to the antibody cocktail from Regeneron that the president received. Now, doctors say that this would be given in a single infusion to those patients, and they say the goal is to prevent patient symptoms from becoming worse so they don't wind up coming here to the hospital. As hospitals continue to treat increasing numbers of patients with COVID-19, nurses have seen firsthand how the virus can take a toll on the body, especially among older patients. It could be pretty bad. Uh, one patient I was who was still on a vent, I was suctioning blood out of his trach. But doctors say they are hopeful they can keep some of those patients from having to come to the hospital by using antibody treatments. Doctors with Premier Health say they'll soon be able to offer to some patients a monoclonal antibody therapy, which was developed by Eli Lilly. It received emergency use authorization from the Food and Drug Administration, and doctors say it's still an experimental treatment. Cautiously optimistic is, uh, is a phrase we like to use with any new therapeutic option. Dr. Roberto Colon says the antibody therapy is given to patients who are experiencing mild to moderate symptoms and won't have to be hospitalized. The treatment is administered under a doctor's order within the first seven days of the illness. Since supply is limited, Dr. Colon says Premier Health is providing the treatment to patients age 55 and over with comorbidities and anyone with COVID-19 over the age of 65. It's um, around a two hour process and there's going to be some additional time for checking preparation um, to be able to complete this infusion as an outpatient and then that's it. It's a one time treatment. Doctors say the antibody treatment has been shown to reduce symptoms of COVID-19, but it's not a cure. That means anyone who receives it can still spread the virus. You still have to wear the mask. You still have to isolate. You still have got to maintain your social distancing. And antibodies have also been transfused into patients over the past few months through convalescent plasma donated by COVID-19 survivors who have built up those antibodies in their immune system. Now, even though these antibody cocktails are being developed, officials say they still need donors to donate their convalescent plasma if they've survived COVID-19, especially since these antibody treatments still remain in short supply. For now, we're live in Dayton. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.